Namaste everyone, it's Abhi here. Hope you all are doing well. So, today we have reached the Manipur Chakra in the series of the Chakra Activation. In my previous videos, I explained how to open or activate your root chakra and sacral chakra. It it through yoga practice and meditation. So right behind the navel in the spine is Manipur chakra. Manipur chakra is also called the solar plexus. It is believed that the Manipur chakra or the solar plexus is the fire center of our body. This chakra is symbolized as a bright yellow lotus with 10 petals. Also with a fiery red triangle in the center of this lotus. The beach mantra of Manipur chakra is Ram. So what happens when Manipur Chakra is activated or unblocked or what happens when it is blocked? So Manipur Chakra is a center of fierce, fierceness, strength and dominance. Also it creates a dynamic personality if it is unblocked so let's discuss the sequence first which I have prepared for targeting the blocked Manipur Chakra so this sequence starts with Urdhva Namaskar Asan or back bending You can practice sun salutes also when it comes to activate your Manipur Chakra. So we start with Urdhva Namaskar Asana or back bending and then follow the Vinyasa and come to plank pose. In plank pose by following the Vinyasa come to downward facing dog and downward facing dog try to hold for some time because downward facing dog one of the most effective postures when you want to open your solar plexus or Manipur chakra so you have to perform downward facing dog and while being in the pose, have to practice abdominal breathing. Try to stay longer and concentrate your mind on your navel and practice abdominal breathing in downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, we move to dolphin pose. It's a bit challenging posture for beginners. So if you find it difficult then stay in downward facing dog and continue deep breathing. But if you want to give it a try then good it's a it's a very good core strengthening posture as well. So try to stay longer. Experience your breath while practicing abdominal breathing so these those were the postures after that there are two very very effective breathing exercises which will help you to unblock your Manipur Chakra one is abdominal breathing. You have to sit in a comfortable posture and 
place your right hand on your navel and slowly perform abdominal breathing the second exercise is a bandha that that is called udayan bandha in udayan bandha you have to inhale first inhale deeply and inflate your stomach completely with air and then slowly start exhaling and empty your stomach after that you have to pull your abdominal muscles inside as much as possible in that position when your stomach is completely inside you have to hold so when you are holding in the posture holding in the bandha i'm sorry then your breath is outside or you have exhaled already and you have to hold your breath outside try to hold for 5 to 10 seconds and gradually increase the time duration after that inhale and then continue inhalation and exhalation and repeat again so this one you have to repeat 4 to 5 times so this was the whole sequence which i have designed to target your manipur chakra now let's talk about the qualities or the symptoms of blocked and unblocked manipur chakra high intellect clarity of thoughts strong will power discipline and self confidence are the few positive symptoms of activated manipur chakra but if your self confidence is low you are suffering from uncontrolled anger unnecessary unnecessarily dominating behavior or lack of motivation or lack of direction it means you have completely blocked manipur chakra also if you find it difficult to make decisions are the may be the sign of blocked manipur chakra on physical level if this chakra is blocked you may suffer from indigestion weight gain diabetes liver problems and acidity because the manipur chakra governs the functioning of the gastric glands also the pancreas gall bladder so if you have disturbed manipur chakra you might experience the health issues related to these organs activated manipur chakra gives you the leadership qualities so you can be a very good leader or motivational speaker or or influencer so this was all about manipur chakra after finishing the sequence you have to sit in meditation sitting in meditation is very very important after practicing postures why because once you practice yoga postures it creates lot of positive energy in your body so meditation allows you to centralize this energy in one direction so when you are practicing yoga to cleanse your chakras or increase your energy then after finishing the postures sit for meditation and concentrate your mind on particular chakra and 
experience the energy and vibrations on that area when you are very deep in your meditation then chant the beach mantra of this chakra that is ram r a m ram 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 so that's it for today i hope this video was helpful if you like my content then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel which is yoga with anubhavi abhi i will see you soon with another beautiful content thank you so much phir milenge namaste